My name is K2, and my journey for me started out as a young drag queen. <laughs> Honey, I think I've always been in drag performing in front of my family with my friends, and it's always been something that I love to do, and I did not grow up with my father in my life, but the women who were around me in my childhood supported my flamboyant ways until my father contacted my mother when I was 12. He told her that he wanted to come back into her life and see if they could rekindle their relationship. So my mother agreed, and she decided to go ahead and give their relationship another chance. Well, when my father and my mother got back together, he moved in, and all hell broke loose. One night, I got dressed in my little drag costume, and I came downstairs to perform for my family after dinner, just like I had always done. And he didn't know that I would do that. So when he saw me, he went off. He called me every gay slur in the books, honey. And he told my mother that it was either him or me. And devastatingly, I'm trying not to cry. I'm holding it in. My mother told him that he could actually stay, and I could not believe it. And she actually sent me away. I'm trying not to cry because it just to this day still breaks my heart. How can you choose your kid, your, not choose your kid, and choose, you know, your, your not even your husband because they're not even married, but choose you know, the person that you're with over your kid, I just feel like no matter what, you should always choose your kids, you know. So, you know, and even if we were struggling, which we were not, even if I didn't get along with my mother, which I did, there was no reason for her to just let me go like that. So, I mean, to this day, I still haven't gotten over that. It's been very devastating for me. So my mother agreed to send me to L.A. to go and live with my grandmother, and that was like one of the best and worst experiences of my life. Obviously, it was bad because I was no longer with my mother, and I had to face the fact that she just gave my ass up. She just gave me up. But on the other hand, I was happy because I was able to be myself without judgment, and I was free to be me. And my grandmother fully supported me and did not try to change me. So I began going to drag shows and making costumes. Girl, before I know it, I was in the drag shows myself. And I was making costumes for other drag queens as well. So I then began making clothes, doing hair and makeup for my girlfriends. And I started a small shop in my grandmother's house. And of course, I later then opened up my own small shop. And I still own my shop, but it's really important for me to work at the Cove because of the prestige and recognition. So you bet I'm going to do everything I can to pull my passion into this project and win a spot at the Cove regardless of what I have to do. I'm going to do any and everything to make sure I get a spot.